Welcome fellow to Lore Seekers Anime Lore Unveiled. We're your one-stop destination for all things anime unraveling the deepest mysteries, exploring darkest corners, and revealing the hidden truths of anime characters and worlds. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on a journey into the unknown. Already a part of our community, glad you could join us once again. Remember, your thoughts and theories are the lifeblood of our discussions. So we invite you to leave a comment below, engage with us, challenge us, share your insights, and if you enjoy the ride, don't forget to Chidori the like button, giving it that electrifying touch. Now let's delve into the world of Goblin Slayer, the dark depths of Darkest Dungeon. Are you afraid to face the darkness that lurks in the corners of your world? The guild smelled of stale ale, sweat, and fear. The flickering lamplight danced across the notice board, illuminating parchments scarred with requests for aid, each one a plea for salvation against the darkness that gnawed at the edges of their world. The guild was more than just a meeting place. Its charter, penned in blood and sacrifice, bore witness to the countless souls lost in the pursuit of glory, wealth, or simply survival. Within these hallowed halls, warriors honed their skills, mages whispered arcane incantations, and rogues slipped through the shadows. They came from all corners of the realm, drawn by the promise of adventure and the allure of the unknown. Yet, beneath the veneer of camaraderie and bravado, a cold truth resonated. Not all who answered the call would return. Sister Alara, a young priestess barely out of the cloister, clutched her holy symbol, her knuckles white as bone. The air hung heavy with the scent of incense and despair. The parchment in her trembling hand bore a simple request, goblin infestation, village of Oakhaven. Her companions, a motley crew of fresh-faced adventurers, fidgeted nervously. A burly warrior, his face hidden beneath a horned helmet, sharpened his axe with methodical precision. A nimble rogue his eyes darting about the room, idly tossed a silver coin between his knuckles. A bookish mage, his face pale and drawn, muttered arcane formulas under his breath. Alara, her heart pounding in her chest, offered a silent prayer to the heavens. She was their healer, their beacon of hope in the face of darkness. Yet a tremor of fear ran down her spine. Oakhaven was her first mission, her first foray into the heart of darkness. The forest whispered secrets in the dead of night. Twisted branches clawed at their faces, the air thick with the stench of decay. Oakhaven was a smoldering ruin, a testament to the brutality of their foe. Elara fought back the bile rising in her throat. The goblins had been relentless, their numbers overwhelming. Her companions, so confident just hours before, were battered and bruised. The warrior, his armor stained crimson, fought with the desperation of a cornered animal. The rogue, his usual agility hampered by a gash across his thigh, moved with a grimace. The mage, his face ashen, his mana reserves depleted, could only watch in horror. Then, through the smoke and the carnage, a figure emerged. Clad in dented, blood-splattered armor, he moved with a chilling grace. In his hand, a sword gleamed with an unnatural light, its edge thirsty for goblin blood. Alara watched in stunned silence as he single-handedly turned the tide of the battle. He spoke not a word, his presence alone a chilling testament to his purpose. The goblins, once so bold, now whimpered and squealed, their eyes wide with terror. He was their doom, a bringer of death in a world steeped in it. They called him Goblin Slayer. Rumors of his exploits preceded him like a plague wind whispered tales in hushed tones, spoken with a mixture of fear and grudging respect. They spoke of a man consumed by vengeance, a solitary figure who walked a path of blood and shadow. Some dismissed him as a madman, a butcher who reveled in the slaughter. Others saw him as a necessary evil, a blunt instrument wielded against a relentless foe. The last goblin fell with a gurgle, its lifeblood staining the charred earth. Silence descended upon the ravaged clearing, broken only by the crackle of flames and the soft sobs of the few remaining villagers. The Slayer, his task complete, turned towards Alara and her companions. For a moment, their eyes met. His, hidden behind the visor, were unreadable. 
Yet Alara could sense the weight of his gaze, the burden he carried. He was a specter, a ghost haunting the ruins of a world teetering on the brink, and yet beneath the cold steel and the bloodlust, she glimpsed something else. A flicker of humanity, a spark of something akin to… sadness? He nodded curtly, acknowledging their presence, then turned and melted back into the forest. The warrior, his voice hoarse, broke the silence. The goblin slayer he breathed, a mixture of awe and fear in his tone. Elara, her heart still pounding in her chest, said nothing. Legends whispered of a once proud knight, his spirit crushed by the horrors inflicted upon his village. Goblins, a plague upon the land, had descended upon his home, leaving nothing but ashes and despair in their wake. His family, his friends, his entire world, reduced to smoldering ruins. He had taken up the mantle of Goblin Slayer, driven by an all-consuming need for vengeance. His humanity, his very soul, sacrificed on the altar of retribution. He walked a solitary path, his only companions the ghosts of his past and the cold steel of his blade. Some whispered that he was touched by madness, his mind shattered by the horrors he had witnessed. Others claimed that he was a demon in human form, a creature of darkness spawned from the very evils he hunted. Truth or fiction, his legend grew with each passing season. The forest bore the scars of his passing. Goblin corpses lay scattered amongst the trees, their bodies twisted and broken, their eyes staring vacantly at the unforgiving sky. The stench of death clung to the air, a pungent reminder of the Slayer's efficiency. He wasted no time with prisoners, no mercy for the creatures he hunted. His methods were brutal, honed through countless encounters to be as effective as they were merciless. Traps, poisons, whatever it took to eliminate his foe with ruthless precision. He was a hunter, a predator stalking its prey through the undergrowth, his senses attuned to the slightest sound. No goblin lair, no matter how well hidden, could escape his notice. He tracked them to their dens, their caves, their festering warrens, and unleashed his fury upon them. Ilara had witnessed firsthand the horrors inflicted by goblins. The charred ruins of Oakhaven, the mutilated corpses, the sheer terror etched on the faces of the survivors, all served as grim testament to their savagery. And yet, she couldn't help but feel a pang of pity for the Slayer. He was a prisoner of his own making trapped in an endless cycle of violence and retribution. His humanity, his capacity for joy and love buried beneath layers of scar tissue and calloused indifference. The flickering fire cast dancing shadows on the walls of the tavern, the air thick with the scent of ale and roasted meat. Adventurers, their faces etched with fatigue and the grim satisfaction of a hard-won victory, swapped stories and boasted of their exploits. Alara sat with her companions, her gaze drifting towards the lone figure seated in the corner. The Slayer, his armor still bearing the stains of battle, sat alone, his back to the wall, his gaze fixed on the contents of his mug. He was a stark contrast to the boisterous crowd, a silent reminder of the darkness that lurked just beyond the flickering lamplight. Even in this den of merriment, he seemed utterly alone, his spirit untouched by the laughter and camaraderie that surrounded him. Alara couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness for this solitary figure, this broken warrior who had sacrificed everything in his pursuit of vengeance. Dawn painted the sky with hues of blood and fire as the Slayer emerged from the forest. He moved with the weary grace of a predator, his armor battered but unbroken, his spirit undimmed. He had spent the night hunting, as he always did, his thirst for goblin blood never truly slaked. He paused at the edge of the tree line, his gaze sweeping across the rolling hills and distant villages. The world was a dangerous place, filled with creatures of darkness and despair, but he would be there to meet them, to stand as a bulwark against the encroaching shadows. He had chosen his path, a path of blood and sacrifice, and he would walk it until his dying breath, for he was the goblin slayer and his work was never done. He turned and melted back into the forest, his silhouette receding into the gloom, a silent guardian against the darkness. The battle against the shadows was eternal, 
Waged in the darkest corners of the world, far from the prying eyes of civilization, 